Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at some examples illustrating how to determine whether a function is either an even or odd function or none of them. The first example is x of t is equal to 2 times cos of 3t plus pi by 4. So, x of minus t is 2 times cos of 3 minus t, 3 of minus t plus pi by 4 which is equal to 2 times cos of 3t into cos pi by 4 minus sine of minus 3t into sine of pi by 4. And this is equal to 2 times cos of 3t minus pi by 4. Therefore, x of t is not equal to x of minus t. And x minus x of t is equal to minus 2 times cos of 3t plus pi by 4. And this is equal to minus 2 times cos of 3t cos pi by 4 minus sin 3t sin pi by 4, which is clearly not equal to x of minus t. Therefore, x of t is neither even nor odd. Therefore, x of t is neither even nor odd. And so, in order to check whether a signal is even or odd or, or neither of them, you have to basically check whether x of t is equal to x of minus t. This means the function will be even. And if x of minus t is equal to minus of x of t, that means the function is odd or the signal is odd. So, let us look at another example. Given the signal x of t is equal to e power j times pi t minus 1, which is equal to e power minus j into e power j pi t. x of minus t is equal to e power minus j into minus e power, e power minus j pi t. Clearly, x of t is not equal to x of minus t. And minus x of t is equal to e power j pi t minus 1. e power j into pi t minus 1. And there is also a minus 1, which is actually equal to e power j pi. So, this is equal to e power j pi plus pi t minus 1, which is clearly not equal to x of minus t. Therefore, x of t is also neither even nor odd. Neither even nor odd. Now, let us look at another example. Given by x of n, a discrete signal is equal to cos of pi times n square over 8. Clearly, x of minus n is equal to cos of pi times minus n square over 8. But minus n square is actually equal to n square. So, this is equal to x of n. Therefore, it is an even signal. Now, let us look at another signal. x of t is equal to cos of 2 pi t into u of t. We know that cos of 2 pi t is an even signal. And then u of t is neither even nor odd. So, the product is also neither even nor odd, is neither even nor odd, because x of minus t is equal to cos of 2 pi t multiplied by u of minus t. And since u of minus t, and since u of t is neither even nor odd, so this product is not equal to x of t minus x of t is equal to minus cos 2 pi t into u of t. Therefore, x of minus t is not equal to minus x of t. That means, x of t is neither even nor odd. However, when you multiply two even signals, the product is also an even signal given by x of t. An example is x of t is equal to cos of 2 pi t multiplied by u of t plus u of minus t over 2. So, this is by definition an even signal and this is also an even signal. So, their product 
is also an even signal. We can easily verify by using x of minus t is equal to cos of 2 pi t because cos of 2 pi t is an even signal. And then we have u of minus t plus u of t by 2 which is actually equal to x of t. Therefore, this is a therefore x of t is an even signal. Next example is x of n is equal to cos of 2 pi n over 7 multiplied by sin of 2 pi n over 5. And then x of minus n is equal to cos of 2 pi minus n over 7 multiplied by sin of minus 2 pi n over 5. And this is equal to cos of 2 pi n over 7 multiplied by minus of sin of 2 pi n over 5. Then this is equal to minus of x of n. Therefore, x of n is an odd signal. Thus, given a signal x of n or x of t, we can easily verify whether it is an even or odd signal or neither of them by determining x of minus n and minus of x of n. So, if x of n is equal to x of minus n, it is an even signal, it is an even signal. And if x of minus n is equal to minus x of n, it is an odd signal, none of the inequalities hold, then x of n or x of t is neither even nor odd. Thanks for watching.